Apple's infamous crack marketing team has reignited our excitement for augmented reality, or should I say, spatial computing. So I've been on a quest training to become an Apple Vision Pro AR developer by 2024. Now ChatGPT recently helped me make my first VR game in Unity, it just happened to be the best VR game of all time, Beat Saber. ChatGPT also helped me make my first AR game in Unity, Angry Birds AR. And that made me wonder, what if ChatGPT made Beat Saber an augmented reality? Can AI code in AR? So I opened up my Beat Saber Unity project and made a new branch in Git for AR development. Then I got hyped with my favorite AI assistant, ChatGPT. This is gonna be another banger. Step 1. AR Portals So I had an idea that we should have an AR portal into the virtual Beat Saber environment. I asked ChatGPT how to make an AR portal in Unity. The idea is that we use a primitive shape like a plane to hide the virtual environment and leave a doorway that we can peek through in AR. ChatGPT gave me a solution that used a custom shader to write to the depth buffer ahead of the environment geometry and discard fragments behind the plane. Fragments are the final rendered screen space pixels. There were two problems with this solution. Discards are expensive on mobile GPUs and should be avoided to maximize performance in AR. And oh, ChatGPT's shader code didn't even work. I knew that a better solution is to use the stencil buffer. In 3D rendering, a stencil buffer is used to mask pixels in an image. For each output pixel, we can set a numeric value in the stencil buffer, then compare against that value to compute visibility. I asked ChatGPT to provide a new custom shader using the stencil buffer to set the stencil mask. I created a material that used this shader and applied it to planes that will hide the virtual environment. Every game object inside the AR portal would then need to be rendered with a stencil aware shader so it would be hidden by the mask. To do this I needed to modify the standard Unity shader, so I downloaded the standard shader for my version of Unity and asked ChatGPT to modify it to include the stencil test. Then I updated all the objects in the virtual scene to use the stencil aware standard shader for their materials. Now we have a working portal system where the mask planes hide the virtual world. Finally I added a doorway for the portal to make it a little bit more epic. Step 2. Beat Saber in AR I was able to reuse the AR Foundation code for my last project, Angry Birds AR. So I quickly had the AR Pastor rendering working with my Beat Saber scene on Android and iOS. The way that I imagine gameplay working in AR is that we place the portal entrance against a detected vertical plane in augmented reality. Then the cube should be able to travel through the portal from the virtual world to the AR world for the player to slice them. I just needed to update the cube materials to not use the stencil aware shader after the cubes fly past the portal doorway so that they remain visible outside of the portal. So I asked ChatGPT to provide the code to detect when the cube reaches the doorway and switch its material to the standard material that doesn't know about the stencil mask so that it will always be rendered. Then I made an iOS build and deployed it to my iPad to test out placing the portal in AR. Step 3. Making a new beat map. Now you know we had to come with a fresh track for Neat Saber AR. So I picked a new song and I jumped back into my favorite online beat map editor. I crafted another fun beat map for our ChatGPT Beat Saber. Now there's only one thing left, getting Beat Saber AR working on a mixed reality headset. Step 4. Quest Unity AR Setup Apple recently released the Vision Pro SDK, however the Unity support is still only being beta tested by the Apple Developer Elite. So it'll be a while before peasants like me are able to build Unity games for Apple Vision Pro and test in the Vision Pro Simulator. Well it turns out that Meta, in anticipation of the Quest 3 launch in September, has released beta support for AR Foundation in Unity. This means we can now use Unity to make AR games for the Quest VR headsets which can also do basic mixed reality using the pass-through cameras. Now I don't have a Quest Pro so I have to settle for the monochrome Quest 2 AR pass-through but that should be good enough to test the gameplay. Note that we can't enable HDR while the AR pass-through is rendering, so the Bloom post-processing effect is not possible on Quest. I used the simple AR scene from the Unity AR Foundation samples to test the AR pass-through on Quest. Meta restricts the pass-through camera feed for privacy reasons, so there's no real-time plane detection like with AR Core and AR Kit. Instead, we draw out the walls and surfaces to set up the room for AR. Another idea I had for gameplay is that we can select any wall to place the portal while the game is still playing. I call it Neat Saber AR Off the Wall. Step 5. Let's Play
Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if your team beat Saber AR or beat Saber VR. And make sure to beat that like and subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm. Peace.